During this demo, we're going to make this necklace. The lapis is absolutely stunning in this, and I love the copper tones with it. Um, so this is all made up of components. These components, you could very easily um, turn these two into earrings, have a little bit of chain going up to a, to a point. Um, they're great. You could have them on the middle of your hand, in a hand to, to wrist, a, wrist to finger piece of jewellery. Fabulous, lovely pieces. Um, or you could use one as an individual pendant. So we're going to make the motifs. We've got some um, lapis drops, which are just on a head pin. I've just done wrap loop with those on a head pin. Um, and the, the connectors are just simple loops on either side of one of your rounds. So I'm going to concentrate on this part of it. And we're going to move this out of the way. And you need your one mil round and your uh, 0.4 copper. Um, you need some cutters, flat nose pliers, round nose pliers, and then if you need to make any jump rings for the connector at the back for the extension, and to make your clasp, you want your um, baling pliers. So let's get cracking. So to make this, and I've got a motif here because it'll be easier to refer to. So to make these motifs, We've got two pieces of wire that we've connected together. It's, it's quite a, a simple process. And I would say cut them out. So, so the necklace had uh, four, eight, nine of these motifs in it. And with the extension, I think it does uh, between about 16 and 18 inches. So you can extend or, or, or make it smaller or you could add more of these if you wanted. So for the larger loop part, this part... You want a um, bent piece of wire. Now, what I would recommend you do, this is 13 uh, centimetre piece of wire bent in the middle. I would measure at um, six and a half, put your bend in, and then measure the other one to be the same. Once you've got one, and this goes for the other piece as well, uh, working off your reel, and just trim that out of the way, um, get it nice and straight, Pop your wire in. Now have your have your piece of wire. Whoops, hang on. There we go. Have your um, template furthest away from your pliers. Get your get your flat uh, pliers. Pop them in at the junction, and then you can just bend it round. If you do it the other way, this piece of wire is the one that will fall out. So if you just pop that round, get them level and snip, you get you get the same. Once you've done your first one, you don't have to measure. So you want one of those for each. Um, like I said, I did nine. Um, and then you want the smaller ones for the piece at the top. So to do this piece, um, we want the smaller one. And that was eight centimetres. So four centimetres, put your bend in, do exactly the same, measure your first one, and then you're off and running. You don't have to do them those exact sizes. I make my first one, um, get it into shape, undo it, and then use that as a template. So, well, or cut two, and then you can just trim one down. Okay, so cut out all your pieces like this. And then when you've created your first pair, keep those, if you're happy with the shape, Keep those as a shape template then. So we're going to create the bigger shape first. Just open your V slightly and you're going to do a loop in towards the V. So we're just going to pop a loop on top. So I go, I usually go about a quarter round, turn it over, keep going until you're pretty much connected and then You'll notice I've moved my fingers from there to here to hold, which means that the top will just bend round a bit as I and you want that fastened. If that doesn't quite meet, just put your finger there and push until that meets the end. So you want to do that on both sides. Don't worry if they're not precisely the same. Um, it's very difficult to get them identical, but don't worry about it. So when you've got them to that point... You want a mandrel. Now, I found my ring mandrel was slightly too big. My six-step applier was slightly too small. So I used a marker pen. 
so it, it depends on what size you want I've pushed it round part way now rather than try and go all the way I'm then going to fetch the um, loop, uh, looped part because if I turn I'm going to try and do this in reverse I want that basically to come to the point there if it's too far then basically what you're doing is rolling your wire along a bit so that it's in position so don't undo it just roll it along your your, your um, felt pen a bit okay so I'm going to go the same the other way turn that and you can see that that's going to come pretty much into position okay so when you've got that in position that's not going to like that there we go they also and I've also found this they look uneven when they're not so don't let your eyes deceive you so measure that up and that's pretty much the same so to get them consistent if you do each component at the same time they will be consistent you'll get into a habit if you do those together and then you go away and you come back a few hours later because you know life happens and um, what you'll find is you're starting again but you can measure and tweak to 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 go with it and the same for the smaller one we're going to hold the loop at the top and when it's almost joined just put that curve in loop at the top now these more than the others I found I had to just put that curve in there you go I had to measure because I never get them equal as you can see there we go and I'm just going to measure it against the one I've got and just tweak into position Okay, so I've now got my, that's my original pair. I'm going to keep those. I've now got my pair ready. So you'll bend these further down so that they meet here as we go along. So we're going to just attach these together. I'm going to do it in a different coloured wire so that it stands out a little bit better for the filming. So I'm going to go one, two, three times round. Now it doesn't matter where you do it because I'm then going to slide it down and the harder bit is holding it to do three times round on the other side. So you've got three loops on either side of that V at the bottom. One's coming through the middle underneath and one's coming through the middle over the top. You're going to put them so that it goes underneath that side and over that side. It should be fairly easy to see them fit. Now these aren't connected, so you can just ease those slightly so you can get through. We're just going to make sure that's there. And we're going to wrap twice round both of them. Not too tight. See how that's pulled together? You need to be able to get that wire through, so don't pull it too tight. And then we're going to do five, four, five wraps and then another two. Now what I would say is once you've done your first set, turn it round and do your two on the other side because it will make sure the two V's match evenly otherwise it can be a bit unbalanced so once you've got that second set three, four, five, then you can just carry on on each side and you've got two five two five two five so you've got three lots of the two and you're ending up with a five then you want to just make sure, ease those down so that they're touching once you've got to there. I'm just going to loosely get that out of the way. So we're going to come to this point here. We're going to slip through and do one, two, three loops through the middle for two and then three the other side. Okay, so three, one. And three. Okay, so you do that with both sides, and you end up with your piece looking like this. Now, I've pre looped these. You can either attach that with a jump ring, or don't do the wrapped loop until you're ready to put it on, then add your wrapped loop on, which I didn't do this time, or if you've 
done your wrapped loop before you weave the next piece in you can just open one of the loops at the bottom slide on your drop and then close that and then you can do your woven section so that's how you do your section and then all you've got to do if I fetch this back is do your simple loops on either side of your rounds pop on a, a, a bit of a chain so I've left a larger jump ring at the back put another wrapped loop on for the drop to be consistent and a simple J hook and you're good to go and there is your wire necklace.